Okay, so a few uh, things to clean up here. First of all, if I'm scrolling up like this and then the thing uh, refreshes, it's going to send me back down to the bottom. So we can fix this by telling it to only do this when there's a new message. So a way to do that is to go to the index.php page and then move the set timeout that we set here into uh, this section right there. So when in, uh, when this audio plays here to signify a new message, then after that we can tell it to scroll down like this. So let me move these a little bit like so. Okay, great. So let's come back here and see if that is actually working now. So let me scroll up and it's refreshing. As you can see, it's not disturbing my reading of messages anymore. All right, so the second thing is that as it is now, we can actually upload uh, a different file type and that won't be good. But if we come back here, let me go to uploader.php uh, where we are uploading the files here. Okay, so we are not actually checking to see if the file is of the correct file type that we want to upload here. So we can change that a little bit by doing this. So let me try and uh, upload a, a, a file right now that isn't a JPEG. So I'm going to do that by simply, uh, oh, it's on all files. I can simply create a new text document in there, then try to upload it. And it's going to say your image was uploaded. And unfortunately, it's not going to show anything because of course it's a text document. So we need to fix this uh, rather quickly here. So let me delete this last message here. So a fix for this is actually uh, simple. So the first thing we can do is we can make sure that in the JavaScript here, we do not allow, uh, we do not allow a file that is not JPEG to be uploaded. So in order to do that, let's create a variable here. Where is this? Let me come down here. So I guess we will need that variable after all. Uh, file is equal to, or well, let's just say file name is equal to files zero dot name. So this is the file name. Now we have to confirm that this is the right file name before we start doing any of this stuff right here. So we want to create an extension variable X. I'll just call it X is equal to uh, file name dot index of because I want to search for the dot and then get the extension at the end of each file because every file is like that to jpg so in this case I want to get the index of like so and then I'm searching for the dot like that Okay, so this will tell me the location of uh, the dot. Now I, I want to use last, there's a one called last index of, something like that. I hope this is correct because the reason I'm using this is it will tell the, uh, it will search from the end of the file name so it's going to go through the file extension first and then come to the dot there because there could be another dot in the file name and we might end up getting that and thinking it's the wrong uh, it's it's the wrong uh, file extension. So now at this point, I just want to hit the click return so that we don't do anything else. I just want to see what's in here. So ext start like there. So it's where the extension is starting from, the file extension. So I just want to see this. 
if I am actually doing the correct thing, if I haven't made a mistake here. So let me refresh, go back here, load a file, and then you see that it says 14. So it has actually found uh, where the file extension is. So now, uh, let's come back here. So we know that in the file name at location 14, that's where the file extension starts from. So, which means now we can create the file extension is equal to by saying uh, file name dot substring. So we get a substring of this and the substring will start at this position right there. That's where it will start from. And then whatever it is at the end, usually a file extension is three characters, but we could do something like this. So start at, in our case, at number 14 and then get three characters after that. So now I just want to alert the ex file extension to see if it actually is correct or not. So let me refresh. Let's load the file again. Okay, so as you can see, it's got dot jp and then it ends but what we want is jpg and not the dot we don't care about the dot so let's move everything one step over so to do that we will say extension plus one and then get three of those okay so let's try that again to see if it's correct this time which i think it is Okay, so we see JPG there, which is awesome, and another JPG there. Okay, great. So, at this point, I want to check. Let's come back here and put an if statement. So, I'm just going to say if uh, x is equal to JPEG. Now, doing it this way is, actually, you can do it this way. This is fine. So I wanted to use an array instead, but uh, this will work just fine. So if the extension is equal to JPEG or the extension is equal to copy to JPG like that, then we are good to go. So you can put all the fire extensions you want just by putting another or and putting it there. Okay. So at this point, if this is true, then we have to continue. But I want to check if it's not so I can tell it to return here. And before it returns, I want it to give me a message and say, alert, only JPEGs are allowed. Or you can say uh, this file type is not allowed something like this this is more general and then return which means none of this gets uh, run okay so at this point uh, I need to find a way to negate this so what I could do is put an else statement here and then put that there or I could simply wrap everything inside brackets like this and then put an exclamation mark here so whatever the result of this just invert it okay so let's try this again i'm going to refresh click here try this out so at this point i don't expect to see any messages okay great now let's try and load the text txt file where is this there we go and this file type is not allowed so we are safe here so i can remove this return here and let it be so at this point i can copy all this and use it as well on when we are changing the profile image which is right there because we didn't do this on the profile image so somebody could put a text document there as well okay so great everything is fine and then the second thing we can do this is the front end validation but 
uh, because this JS code is inside our browser, somebody can edit it to suit their needs. So we just have to confirm that even on the server, this file will be rejected if somehow it passes through. So to do that is very easy. Let's just create a uh, an array here called allowed so that we put all the allowed file formats here. So I'm just going to say image slash JPEG. This is this is the type uh, for JPEG images. This is the image type that comes in here. So if you're unsure of the type for your file, whatever file it is you want to upload, all you need to do is get files file here like this and then say type at the end like so so you can echo this so you upload your file and then you echo this and just tell it to die here and then as a result on the other side you're going to see what the files file type is and then you can add that to the allowed section here so for now we're only allowing image jpeg but you could add something like image png for example like that so you just you can just keep adding uh, as many as you want here so i'm going to leave that there just for a reminder's sake that you can do that and then now what we will do is run an if statement uh, to check if it is allowed or since there's already an if statement right there we can instead use uh, that so if files error is equal to zero or uh, let's say and we're going to say in array here so we're checking if the needle is in the array so the needle is what we are looking for and this is the type right we are looking for this current file type that we've uploaded if we can find it inside this array here so that's the haystack right there okay so that's the thing and in array boom so first of all the error should be zero meaning there's no error and our file type is in the array here then we are good to go okay so that's just a secondary uh, precaution there and so let's give it another spin to see if we haven't broken anything. Let me add one more file here, one more image. Your file was uploaded and there we go. So things are looking up. Okay, so the next thing we want to do in a next video is to make sure that when we click here, we can see the full view of the image, just in case you've made your images very small for the sake of reducing the visibility of the images here and I'll see you in the next video.